Hello, this is Sierra Nevada, and welcome to another video. As you can probably tell, it's a little bit different from the other videos I have done. Um, I wrote this story about a year to 18 months ago, and I was trying to create a what if, like a story behind the character. Like, cause we don't get a good history about some of the characters in the lovely world and yes this is in the lovely world it's like it's during a time like, i was a little bit curious about the characters and i wanted to learn more about them and having this small opportunity to write a short story even if it never gets shared it's like i would rather share it with you guys rather than have it go to waste because yeah, I put it on Khan Academy that one time, along with another story, but, yeah, it does, It didn't work out the way I wanted it to, so, I might as well do it in a video. So, here's my first story. And, yeah, inspiration. It's like... This is not promoted whatsoever. It's just my own story. It's what I might think. It going through even this mind. Here we go. The story of Viva Dash by me, of course. Viva Dash was an outcast. She had been exiled from her town at a very young age and traveled around the world, exploring but never staying in one place for very long. She felt lonely and rejected, abandoned by her own people. How could she trust anyone after that? She wandered alone for many years, no one even knowing she even existed. One day, as she came up, to a large town, she suddenly heard someone behind her. She turned around to see a man in a, in a red and gold robe with a golden crown on his head. The look he gave her with his beady black eyes were both with intrigue and suspicion. Well, isn't this interesting, the man said, coming up to her. He didn't hold a weapon. He didn't threaten her. Are you one of his helpers? What do you mean? Viva Dash asked. Who are you? The people here know me as Hit the Target. This town is ruled by an overpowering overlord named Stumpy Cat. He controls everything with his unlimited power of dogs and more. I want that power to be taken away from him so that I can make things right in this world. Oh, how awful! She exclaimed in horror. I've tried many times to take his dogs from him, but he's a constantly outsmarting. I need your help. Are you willing to join me to stop this cat? I, she said, unsure. She wanted to help. She really did. She hated the idea of the town being controlled by someone so careless, so heartless. At least, this man seemed to care enough to do something about it. But he was also branded as a villain in this town. She'd be thrown out. She'd been thrown out the last time she'd visited a town. Her home. She didn't want it to happen to this man or anyone again. She just had to help. My name is Viva Dash, and my service is yours. The man smiled and held out his hand. Come with me, and we will get started. She nodded and followed him. Her fate had been sealed. Time passed as she and hit the target planned their next move. She had done a lot to help him by putting a sleeping potion cake that the cat would eat, 
helping him dig a tunnel through the dark house and more. But one day, his target had asked her to go to the dark house to see what was going on. When she came to the dark house, she heard a voice calling out to her. Startled, she began to run. Wait, I'm come back. I'm not going to hurt you, the voice called. She turned to see an orange ginger cat coming towards her. She stopped running. How could she be so careless? She's been caught and there was nothing she could do about it. Do you want to come with me and my friends to play in the play of the month mini game? The cat asked her. She nodded reluctantly. She didn't want to attract suspicion. If the cat found out, what would it do to her? She just had to pretend to be nice. She wasn't the best of actors. But at least she tricked the cat, and that was all that mattered. She went back to hit the target at the castle that was in Fortress Island. She told him about everything that had happened that day. The target nodded thoughtfully for a moment when he fin- when she finished. Well, I suppose it makes it easier to get him here for a part of our plan, isn't it? She nodded in return. I suppose you're right. But what do you mean by that? Earn his trust, and we're ready. And when we're ready, lead him to the castle. Hit the target replied. How can I do that and go to the nether to get the things I need? She asked. You'll figure out how. Hit the target snapped, getting annoyed. When you're ready for the final part, bring him to the castle. And we shall give him quite the surprise. <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. Viva Dash nodded and left to do her part of the plane that they had come up with together. Everything went well. And seeing the look of shocked surprise from the cat, he realized her betrayal was something she would never forget. And yet, he had managed to escape. Years afterward, they tried to stop the cat. For years, they failed. It didn't matter how many times the cat got away or surprised them. It was a failure. But Viva was determined to do what was right. And so was the target. But did they see that the same way? (laughs) During a long while, Viva discovered something she never knew about her supposed enemy. She and hit the target had planned to trap the cat by hiding away his dogs, making him out, go out to look for them. They had done so successfully, but she instead had fallen into the trap as well. <laughs> she and the cat had worked together to escape, and he had come back to help her. It was crazy for Viva to even think about something like that. He was her enemy! But he had kept his promise, and so she felt she had to repay him by leading him to where the dogs were without hitting the target now. She didn't trust the cat, but she had a better understanding of what he was about. It wasn't what hit the target had told her about him. She had to learn the truth. Yeah, I kind of trailed off there, only because (laughs) there isn't much else after that yet. All we know are theories, and that's all I can really say. But yeah, that's the story of Viva Dash so far. It's like I can only do so much in this short story. I hope you liked this video, and be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this, and... Comment down below what more you, what things you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!